Okay, thank you very much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is honor for me to stand here to participate in this uh, international conference on, plast on bio bioplastic. Today, uh, I would like to present about the present status of environmentally degradable plastic in Indonesia. My name is Hardaning Pranamuda. So actually, I graduated uh, from Japan University. So my PhD thesis on the biodegradation of the aliphatic polyester. But after returning back to Indonesia, uh, I have to do a uh, lot of things with my background microbiology, not only bioplastic, but also antibiotic production or uh, functional food or something like that. Uh, this is uh, what you call, after returning back to Indonesia, 10 years I haven't uh, attended to the plastic conference. So it is the, after 10 years, the first also to present the bioplastic. My presentation uh, is uh, supervised by Dr. Tusi Adi Broto. My affiliation is from BPPT, the Agency for the Assessment and Application of Technology the government institution that is located headquarters in Jakarta, and we have also uh, laboratory facilities located in Serpong, 40 kilometers from Jakarta. Firstly, I would like to uh, describe about the Indonesian, Indonesia in number, the population according to the National Agency of Statistics in July uh, 2012, it is estimated about uh, 250 million, maybe the fourth largest population in the, in the world. And population growth rate is 1.03%. And we have the productive population, uh, the, age among, um, the age between 25 to 44 years is about 42%, the productive population. And uh, unfortunately, 44% uh, of the total population lives in urban, and rate of urbanization is 1.7% uh, annual rate. Uh, the population mostly lives in Java Islands. Jakarta is the capital of Indonesia, has the largest population, about 9.1 <coughs> million people, followed by Surabaya in eastern part of Java. 2.5 million, Bandung, 2.4 million, and uh, city in Sumatra Island, Medan, 2.1 million. We have good economic growth in uh, 2012. Uh, US, uh, the economic growth is 6.2%, uh, and the GDP in 2012 is USD 0.824 trillion US dollar. GDP per capita, USD 4,700. Uh, with this condition, uh, the, eco the population increase and also the economic growth, of course, there is a, a negative impact to the environment. So the environmental problem, for example, the air pollution, water pollution, as well as the plastic waste problem. This is the data for, uh, on plastic waste in Indonesia. Based on Indonesian Ministry of Environment, approximately uh, 5.4 million tons of plastic waste was produced in Indonesia in the year 2008. Uh, it is about 14% uh, of total waste. And the plastic waste ranked number two. And daily, about 15,000 tons of plastic waste is produced in Indonesia. Out of this, 4,000 tons is plastic bags. Jakarta produces uh, about uh, 530 tons daily. So annually, uh, uh, 100 billion plastic bags is used in Indonesia, or in one year, uh, 700 plastic bags per person. Uh, in the right slide, it is the campaign uh, uh, that uh, shows uh, the dangers of the uh, plastic waste, if we don't uh, use um, plastic waste very wisely, it will be 
uh, bad for the environment. The picture below is the landfill, the mostly uh, waste uh, management in Indonesia, for waste landfill, and in the right place is plastic is uh, discarded into the river, so they, uh, they use, uh, the men here use boat for, uh, for picking up the plastic waste. There are uh, many movements in our society to give solution for plastic waste. For example, uh, they do demo demonstration in the street to campaign about the plastic diet or say no to plastic. So the, uh, they do a demonstration. And in the middle, in this campaign source by the local government of Jakarta, local government, they um, promote people to <coughs> Uh, collect the waste and then to spray it and then to to how to use again and the right pictures is about the plastic recycles uh, done by uh, communities uh, surrounding Jakarta so they uh, recycle the plastic to becomes the uh, fashionable uh, bags <coughs> Concerning on the regulation of um, waste management in Indonesia, it is quite new. In uh, year 2008, Act Number 18 concerning the waste management is issued by the government. It is stated in the verses uh, 15 that the producer is obliged to manage plastic packaging and or goods that are not able to difficult to degrade in natural environment. So it is the obligation for the producer to manage the plastic. And in year 2011, uh, the government issued the Indonesian national standard. It is the ecolabel criteria to the plastic shopping bag products. Yeah, this standard uncovers uh, about the plastic blown films for uh, non-use uh, application non non food use non food use application so for the degradation aspect so uh, we uh, it is it adopt about the ASTM G2109 for evaluation of biodegradability it is the standard for uh, determining uh, resistance of synthetic polymers materials to fungi yeah yeah, it is difficult for us to develop the what we call the compostable standard because uh, it is impossible for us to fulfill the the the, the standard. So, uh, for the starting point, we we try to uh, to encourage the industry to to produce the plastic, the bioplastic, the uh, plastic that can be degraded in the environment. So we, we, we introduce this standard. And also for the, what you call, for the plastic that is contained the pro-degradant, for, for also degradation or something like that, we use also the STM standard, STM number D5208 slash 09, about the uh, UV exposure. And in year 2012, for implementing the Act Number 18, the government uh, issued the regulation about the waste management and household and similar waste, household waste. In verses 15, it is stated that use of raw material and packaging that are able to degrade in natural environment, able to generate less waste, and able to recycle, are implemented gradually or step by step following the roadmap. So the roadmap is now under. Uh, ongoing to, to, to complete by the Ministry of the, of the Environment. <coughs> this is the condition of the environmentally degradable plastic in Indonesia, available in Indonesia. It is divided into two kinds. Uh, the first one is the oxo-degradable. So in Indonesia, uh, there is a national uh, producer, Oxium, it is the national uh, or local uh, company produce the oxium. 
the oxo degradable additive and also the green 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 also the produced by indonesian company the polyethylene uh, producing company and epi epi is imported from from england or maybe or canada and dimas also imported from outside and in case of the starch based plastics uh, there are two products the first one is the nv plus nv plus is the products uh, um, from starch uh, modified with the uh, vinyl acetate and also the eco plus eco plus is the blend between the polyethylene and also the starch uh, particularly the tapioca starch uh, according to survey on uh, environmentally degradable plastic in several markets in jakarta conducted in july 2012 about 61 percent uh, they used the oxium followed by epi 14 percent grene 40 percent 14 percent 5 percent mv plus 3 percent dimas and others is 3%. It is the condition. <coughs> Here I bring with me the sample of the product, the Eco Plus product. So this product is, uh, <coughs> is, is the blend between the polyethylene and 30% of uh, cassava or tapioca starch. So I would like to explain about the Green Label Indonesia certification. Uh, in, for Green Label Indonesia certification in Indonesia is very unique. So it is given by the non-government organization, uh, so-called the Indonesian Solid Waste Association, INSWA. It is the non-government organization. So as a member of International Solid Waste Association, uh, the INSWA uh, have the mission to promote and develop professional waste management as a contribution to sustainable development. At the moment, only two products has been given the Green Label Indonesia. It is the Oxium product, the Oxo degradable plastic products, and also the Eco Plus starch-based product in year 2010. And in year 2011, in order to widespread or broaden the use of uh, environmentally degradable plastic in Indonesia, INSWA uh, gave an appreciation, a certificate to uh, five converters and 28 retailers who actively participated in using Oxium and Ecoplast for their packaging. Uh, the below scheme is the uh, mechanism of chain of custody in, in, in Green Label Indonesia. First, the producer uh, gives the products to the plastic converter and the plastic converter to the retailer and the retailer to the end user, the consumer. So the INSWA periodically uh, do sampling from the retailer and from the samples, uh, they do analysis in the laboratory to check whether uh, the plastics in the retailer is uh, meet with the requirement of the Green Label Indonesia. If there is, uh, uh, if, if it, is, it doesn't meet, so, so INSWA will give uh, warning to the producer and the producer will give uh, warning to the plastic converter. It is the chain of custody uh, conducted in Indonesia for Green Label Indonesia. Regarding with the EDP research, EDP research is done in the universities and also in government institution in Indonesia. For example, the Bogor Agricultural University, they do development of bioplastic material from renewable resources, for example, by doing starch blend, microbial polyester production, like um, PHP. And in Bandung Institute of Technology, they do the blend between polyethylene and with the grafted starch and do the photodegradable plastic and in University Kristen Petra in Surabaya, East Java, they do uh, research on the conversion of plastic waste to kerosene. And the research institution under the Ministry of Industry, uh, Center for Pulp and Paper, 
do analysis service for packaging, eco label for paper product, and center for chemicals and packaging, do the analysis service for packaging, and uh, Indonesia, Indonesian Institute of Science, or LIPI, do the starch-based bioplastic, and National Agency for Atomic Energy, they do research on the plastic pellets from biomass, biomass waste, and in our institution, Agency for the Assessment and Application of Technology, we do about the starch-based plastics and do the evaluation of plastic packaging because we have the laboratories, uh, the polymer technology laboratories, we do evaluation of plastic packaging, including mechanical, thermal, chemical properties, biodegradability, etc. And we do also the system analysis of waste uh, treatment and now ongoing process, we are uh, in effort to become the Ecolabel Certification Institute for Plastic Packaging Product. This is the structure of our organization, BBPT, Agency for the Assessment on Application of Technology. It is divided into the five deputy, and the yellow color here uh, indicates the center that is uh, in charge to do the bioplastic uh, research. The Center for Environment, Center of Bioindustrial Technology, Center of Technology Material, Biotech Center, Polymer Technology Center, that uh, do uh, about the bioplastic research. So I would like to <coughs> explain about the microbial test for degradation uh, for environmentally degradation, environmentally friendly plastic. So we follow the uh, ASTM G21 um, slash 09. This is the standard practice for determining resistance of cis synthetic polymeric material to fungi. So uh, we observe uh, the fungal growth on the surface of the film after inoculation. So we value from, uh, we, we give rating from 0 to 4 if uh, uh, the heavy growth on the Cover on the plastic film, it means that the microorganisms can uh, use the plastic films as a substrate for their growth. And we also do the, yeah, uh, instead of the agar plate cultivation, we use also the liquid culture, do the same thing, uh, to, 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 to counting the population of the microbes growth in, uh, during the cultivation. And now we are developing about the evaluation for the oxodegradable plastic by following STMD 695404. So uh, firstly, we do the photodegradation test by following the STMD 5208 about the UV exposure degradation under fragmentation. And after fragmentation, fragmented samples, we test it uh, for the uh, degradation in composting condition and after that, uh, after the compost, so we, we use for the uh, environment test, the toxicity test, for example, the germination test or, or uh, effect to the aquacultures. Yeah, uh, in this conference, by involvement in this International Network on Sustainable Plastic, we hope that we can do sharing information and experience in promoting environment degradable plastic, and we hope uh, we can get the technical assistance in establishment national focal point for sustainable plastics in Indonesia. Thank you very much. Thank you.